We're here with the head coach of AIC Women's Soccer, Kevon Issa, as AIC prepares to take on the University of Bridgeport in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Coach, you've been involved in long tournament runs before. You were the assistant coach when the team went to the Final Four in 2013. What can you take from that experience that will help the team through this tournament? Uh, the biggest thing from that experience is that we get to play with a lot of heart and we get to work hard for the full 90 minutes of the soccer game. No signs of rust yesterday with a long layoff more than a week between games. How did you keep the players ready for the kind of game that they played against Stonehill? It's obviously very high pressure. It's single elimination in the NCAAs. Uh, we all started in practice, you know, having a long layoff, you know, allowing us to, to uh, gather some rest. And for the last week, week, week or so, we turned our practice into more, into more of a preseason training sessions, and the girls worked hard. And I think yesterday they were just hungry to finally play, play against another team, and it actually showed, showed with the way we played. All three goals for the Yellow Jackets against the Skyhawks were scored by midfielders. Was there a conscious effort to get the midfield more involved in the offense, or was that just a way that it happened in that game? I think it was more more of an effort to get our midfield involved. You, you, know, you look at Johanna, you look at Jess, and you look at Steph, pretty great uh, midfielders there, and we needed them to be really involved involved in the game, and that's what we're going to need, need again tomorrow against Bridgeport. This is a team that you guys play against every year. You and their head coach, Magnus Neil would go back years and years. What special challenges and opportunities come from facing an opponent that you have so much familiarity with? I think the toughest thing is that we play them at home. You know, it comes down to the NCAA game. You know, the winner moves on. So obviously, both teams know each other. They, but they're going to play hard. It's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a hustle, it's going to be a lot of aggressiveness. And I think it comes down to the team that uh, eliminate mistakes and the team that scores more goals is going to win tomorrow. You know, obviously Bridgeport is very good offensively. They have a lot of front, front runners. They have a lot of two uh, great goal scorers on the team. And, you know, we just got to do a great job of just containing them and play the way like we played against Stoneham. What's the one critical area of the offense and one critical area of defense that the team has to do well in order to win this game? I think obviously defensively, you know, with the win, we're going to be able to uh, get numbers behind the ball. Our back four being playing well, you know, and obviously on the offensive end, we have to do like we did yesterday, finish our chances. You know, Bridge, Bridgeport doesn't give you a lot of chances, so if we get one or two chances, we have to be, be ready to finish them. Thanks so much, Coach. Appreciate it. Good All luck right. tomorrow. Thank you.